Hello and welcome to today's session as we look at how Cloud Credential Council supports our partner network with the CCC portfolio. So my name is Mark O'Loughlin of the Cloud Credential Council, the CCC, which is home of digital ready professionals. Now CCC supports individuals and organizations in their digital transformation journeys by optimizing talents and help develop skills for digital ready professionals. And we achieve this through the CCC professional certification portfolio, which covers AI cloud, big data, IOT and blockchain. We'll cover a little bit on that later on. And um, also today we're taking questions. So uh, please ask a question in the question box and then I'll have a review of some of these questions at the end of the session. So uh, everybody, you're all very welcome today. Now, we have a short session today, um, but a few things I would really like to cover, a, a number of important areas include, I want to look at the four areas of digital transformation. It's very important, it's coming up, I'll explain why. We'll just briefly mention key aspects of a digital transformation. I'll mention our digital skills survey, what we've done, what we're doing. Um, and also to help you as well position portfolio for yourselves, drive business, looking at CCC resources that we create, but we're creating them for you, our partners, and also a brief review of the CCC portfolio. We'll keep that brief. A lot of information is online and through sales enablement, we'll provide all the information on that, but we'll just do a quick brief on that. And then at the very end, um, a few questions that come in, uh, we'll ha I'll have a look at with you. But to get started, I thought it was, you know, important to position this, the four areas of digital transformation. Now, digital transformation is still a very popular topic. It, it's probably number one, uh, still going there. And it seems every organization is on some form of a digital transformation journey, whatever that is. But what we continue to see is so many organizations still don't really know what digital transformation is. And many don't really know what it means to be digital either. And that's significant. They're, everybody's on this digital transformation journey and they don't know what it is. For the purpose of today, you know, digital transformation is about change, first and foremost. Change of the organization using digital services and applications, change of the technology, but again, that's a very broad definition of digital transformation. So when you think of digital transformation, we would like you to think of it in these four domains. These are becoming more commonly known, but still a lot of organizations don't get this. But this is the crux of digital transformation under four domains. We've process transformation, business process, business and process transformation. And that's where you're integrating new technologies for example, data analytics, artificial intelligence, AI, machine learning, IoT. You're integrating these new technologies to transform, to a uh, business process, to um, re remove inefficiencies, create redundancies, uh, things like that. So you're using the technology to transform a uh, process, but you must understand the process before the technology will actually succeed. Um, just you know, uh, using an artificial intelligence solution isn't going to transform anything if you don't know what the process is behind. It won't transform a process on its own. So we need organizations to be able to think about processes, uh, think about how that relates to using best technology and making change. Business model transformation. Now, this is significant. Not every business will do this, um, but some are having to. This is very difficult. So this is changing your business model. You know, it's very difficult for incumbents as new players enter the market without legacy IT, without traditional IT, and all the other things that come with legacy. Uh, these new players are more agile. And if you think about this, this is like in a, each, comp, each country we have pillar banks. The banks have been there for 50 years, 100 years, 200 years. And they're being challenged by the likes of a revolut. So Revolut is not changing the banking industry per se, but it's changing a model within the banking industry. 
not changing how banking happens or how money happens or those financial things whatsoever. It's changing how it delivers something that exists today, which is banking, but does it in a different way. Business model transformation. That significant number of your uh, customers, the organizations you work with and deal with, are going to have to go through that or they will fall behind. And this whole story about the fintech pillar banks is a fantastic example of that. Domain transformation is another step further. Some organizations will do this, many won't. But there's huge um, gain to be got, competitive advantage, if you can make this work. It's expensive, but certainly digital technologies will help you there. This the domain transformation is moving into a new business area. An example of this is Amazon um, moving into the freight logistics business amongst everything else that they do. And they're now challenging FedEx um, and all these other um, logistics companies. Amazon owns one of the biggest fleets, I guess, I think of um, uh, airplanes for freight. That's a completely dumb, different domain transfer. Now, it is complementary to what they do. But they've had to go do that, to learn it, and they've done it in a different way, using technology differently. And then the other aspect being cultural and organization transformation. And this is looking at the people, the process, ways of work, mindsets. And this is so often overlooked when it comes to digital transformation. But it is so important that, again, the transformation with digital is not just about technology. Sometimes the technology is the easier piece to implement, especially when you just implement um, point solutions, I guess, in uh, digital. Um, so it's overlooked when you look at the cultural transformation. But these four areas are critical aspects of what a digital transformation is and can help you break down, you know, what is your customer talking about when they talk about digital transformation? How can the technologies help these digital technologies? Remember, talking about the technology, the Azures, the uh, Google Cloud platforms, um, the AWS is only one part of a transformation. All these other parts are the software skills, the human skills, the process side, everything else that needs to be understood and adapted. And that's where our portfolio at CCC comes into play. We'll talk more on that shortly. So we've just looked at four areas of the digital transformation, but also there are numerous components of an effective digital transformation strategy, and they include a number of things, namely some of these. Strategy and leadership. And again, it's not technical strategy, it's the business strategy and leadership committing to make change and cultural change and change whatever needs to happen, and then underpinned by the technology, in this case, digital services. So we've got to look at it that way, but so many organizations have led from a technical strategy. And they're now making mistakes, they're getting things wrong, that it's costing them a lot of money. There's a lot more disruption in their organizations that needed to be. They're becoming uncompetitive, having adopted digital services because they adopted them in the wrong way. They couldn't, they didn't change any of the cultural aspects, the people aspects, the ways it works. It's it is really, really significant. The culture change communication, um, no change happens without communication. You need the right communication and then the right cultural change program within an organization to really make a uh, sense of and use these digital tools right. Optimizing process, digital technologies can optimize your process, but only if you know your processes and know what you're going to optimize. Uh, you know, if you don't know your processes and you adopt digital technologies, you probably won't optimize much because you, you don't know where, how can we get more efficient? Um, how do people work today? What do we need to keep of that? What do we need to change? The data is so important. Sure, data is the new oil is a phrase that goes around um, quite often. Um, it's not so much capturing your data. IoT tools and AI will capture data. It's about using human intelligence to structure that data, understand the data, and find out something of value. Sometimes that's competitive advantage. Sometimes the data is telling you how to be more efficient in a process. You've got to do that work. That's the hard work. And to me, that's where you need to apply human intelligence, human skills, and soft skills to this digital story. And from technologies, you know, it's only one technology is important. Digital technology is really important these days. But technology is only one part of this digital transformation journey. 
it's one of these seven elements that fit into these four areas of digital transformation. It, it underpins what we do, but there's so much more to it. And that sometimes gets lost. Uh, gets lost in the training world. Let's just focus on the technical training and digital and cloud and not focus on everything else. Um, team structure, very important. And then results. What are the results at the end of the day, having spent so much money, time, effort, resources, and everything else in going digital? What did you achieve? What did you set out to achieve? Did you achieve it? And what we do, the, so at CCC, we're supporting individuals and organizations in their digital transformation journey, going through those four areas of digital transformation, understanding the seven elements of an effective digital transformation strategy. That is baked into each and every one of our CCC uh, courses and portfolio. And this helps optimize talent and helps develop skills for digital ready professionals. It's not just digital technical professionals, but digital ready professionals that understand technology, understand business and understand their, everything we've just covered there. And we achieve this through our CCC professional certification portfolio, which covers, as we mentioned, AI, cloud, big data, IoT and blockchain. We'll have a little bit more on these certifications shortly. So overall, our CCC certifications, another benefit is they're vendor neutral, focused on developing digital ready professionals who can help organizations succeed in their digital ambitions. Now, we've been working hard to create additional content, A for CCC for the website, but also for you our partners, our partner network. Um, at CCC and through our partnership with ITpreneurs, we provide training, you know, you are training partners with sales support and enablement. We've done that, we continue to do that. Um, we've also been working hard to produce additional assets of interest to our end user audience. But these assets are also for you, our training partners to use, and we encourage that. So what are these assets? Well, recently, from a research perspective, uh, we created the 2019 CCC Digital Skills Survey. In that survey, we found three critical findings and an additional eight general findings. This report, I have to say, has been well received, and it's also so relevant today. Just because the data is on a 2019 doesn't actually age this report. When you read this report or when your customers read this report, it is so relevant. I'll come back to that in a moment. So at the moment now, we're finalizing our 2021 CCC Digital Skills Survey, and that's going to incorporate the effects of COVID-19 and lockdowns. Um, and I'll have some more news on that shortly. But we also create new content in addition. Uh, once it's being the CCC Talks podcast, we're now at, I think, 25 episodes to date. And I love these. It's where I get to talk to leaders on various digital topics. But in the podcast, what we're looking for is their views, the experience and views and recommendations from these leaders that we find in the digital field. And that's so important. So we're getting, you know, really good advice, really good help, really good um information um, from our podcast. And we found that they're very insightful, especially to our customers. And we also encourage you that, you know, they're available for you to provide to your customers. They can be co-branded as well um, as, as an extra value add. We uh, also continue to post blogs. We develop white papers. Recently, we developed um, an IoT white paper. And uh, we're updating that in early 2022, where we're looking to include case studies and interviews. So even though we create a piece of content, we're looking to refresh that and add to it, uh, specifically in areas like once we get the understanding done first, then case studies and interviews and comments again from digital, digital uh, professionals, uh, what they're seeing on the ground. Very, very helpful for your customers, for customers in general, but your customers. Uh, and I think we're very excited about this. Um, and we do this, we create this content, we spend a lot of time, and we do that so you can share our content with your customer base. We encourage you to do that, but we also encourage you to co-brand it as well, because that's, that's the whole point of this. The content helps position CCC in the market as a leader in um, thought leadership in digital, 
uh, and from our certifications. But also, you know, creating content takes time and effort, finding the right people, getting the right information, getting something of value for customers. So we want to provide this to you so that you can send and co-brand and support, you know, the CCC portfolio to your customers. Um, and also um, what you offer from the CCC portfolio. I think it's a cost effective way of adding value to your customers and removes the need in some cases for you to create some of these digital assets. Uh, we want to create them, we want to make them available to you for you to share and to draw people into you know, the CCC business that you offer, um, which I think is a good way. But we want to we encourage you to co-brand that as well. Get your brand out there with our CCC material as well, I think is a, is a strong uh, marketing approach. So in 2019, we research, researched and developed the CCC Digital Skills Survey. Um, just a few things, what did we find? If you haven't got a copy of this, go on to, uh, to cloudpotential.org, go to resources, pull down a copy of the, uh, the report. Critical finding number one is so relevant then and still now. Organizations and IT professionals don't know what they don't know. And you know, to paraphrase, if you ask 10 people what digital is, you'll receive back 10 different answers. Ask 10 people for a good working definition of digital and they'll struggle. And we know this, we've tested this, and we've seen this. So it's clear from this research that many organizations across the globe, they're unaware of the significant gaps they have in understanding what digital is. Even a few slides ago, those four areas of digital transformation, um, widely unknown. They don't have an understanding of what digital is, what digital ready is, or how to actually succeed with using, you know, with adopting digital and their strategies. That's a critical finding still relevant today. Critical finding two, organizations require staff to have the ability to acquire skills quickly as opposed to having skills. Again, relevant today, it will be relevant for the forthcoming couple of years. And we build portfolio, our portfolio around this. So in our discussion with the C-suite, HR departments, organizational leaders, recruitment specialists, analysts, and so forth, they all cite the ability to acquire skills quickly is, is, is a very common trait that they're after. And there's a simple reason. The, the current wave of IT and digital technologies is changing. And it's changing at an unprecedented rate and will continue to change for the foreseeable future. So the ability for an individual to learn and acquire skills and expand their digital capabilities is so important. And again, we position our CCC portfolio to help address that challenge. And critical finding three is very interesting. I didn't think we'd need to find this, but we did. The sequence for digital success is people before technology, people first, technology second. It, it, it seems so simple, but in a lot of analysis, we see technology first, people somewhat second, if even. You know, and probably people have, you know, organizations have tried or pursued, you know, a cloud first strategy, digital first strategy, and they continue to do so. They try and do digital transformation by adopting the latest technologies. These, these strategies aren't going to be effective, and we see that today. Uh, so, and in many cases, we see organizations ending up with the latest in technology, yet the people they depend on to really exploit this technology are found lacking essential skills and capabilities that are needed to deliver value and even, you know, use digital technology in a meaningful way. So yeah, it's in the report. We use that to help position the portfolio. Uh, we use that to help them um, just highlight challenges that are out there that are the non-technical challenges that, that we see. And we have all of this available on the CCC website for you. So on the slide there, you can see the digital skills report, the podcast certification paths. We, I haven't mentioned it today, but there's an adoption readiness assessment. It's a very brief, simple uh, view of, do you know some of the basics? If they don't, our portfolio helps address that. The Digital Skills Survey 2021 um, is still open for questions, even though we're, um, even though we're still clo we're closing that off and analyzing it. Uh, so mock exams, the webinars that we continue to publish and the white papers there.
So all of these resources are available on our website, cloudfinancial.org. Head over to the resources tab, and we encourage you, I absolutely encourage you, our partners, to download and share the content with your customers, prospects, and leads. And we welcome you to co-brand with your brand as well. And, you know, and to use that opportunity to use our assets to promote the services that uh, you're selling from the CCC. And then our sales enablement can also provide you with any of the content links or anything else that's there or in other formats that you need. Just reach out to sales and just ask, and uh, we'll look at that for you. From our podcast perspective, recently uh, I spoke with, uh, so sorry, we started the CCC talks with the aim of providing uh, information from experts, talking to experts in the various digital fields to get their opinions, their views, and as importantly, their recommendations, what to do, what not to do, what should we think of, what challenges have you seen, what, what are the things we should be doing first of all, um, the CCC Talks we produce in both a video and an audio podcast form are very shareable, uh, very interesting. And there's really, you know, we work hard to ask the questions that get really good responses that are relevant to organizations. And um, our marketing also produce mini blogging. They're one to two minute clips uh, from these podcasts and we publish those heavily on social media. Um, if they're a useful tool for yourself to publish a 90 second uh, information blast uh, of some recommendation to your customers, we welcome that we can provide those too. Um, in this one, Caroline Goulard, she is an expert in data visualization. Very, very interesting interview. Um, I mentioned it um, that we were so interested in talking to Caroline because what we found was Caroline produced a video uh, capturing the birth of a Bitcoin. I have to say it was beautiful. It was fascinating. And then we understood uh, her background. She's an expert in this field of uh, blockchain, Bitcoin, and data visualization, which is a key aspect of the work that she does, and how to go about moving from unstructured data to structured data, turning that into some kind of knowledge, uh, going beyond information into knowledge, and then visualizing that using various tools, some of them digital, some of them not and then trying to understand what is this telling us, what can we do, what makes a difference. Uh, some time ago, we had Loudon Williams, he's ex-Amazon and Microsoft, and Loudon has spent a lot of time developing updated processes and models for organizations to adopt cloud op operations, specifically Amazon there as well, and some great insights from, from Loudon. And we continue to record experts for CCC Talks. We have a big list of uh, names that we continue to record. And we again encourage you, I really encourage you to share these assets with your customers, your prospects, promoting CCC portfolio but of the portfolio, what you offer, and where you can, where you want to co-brand with yourselves. So it's a double promotion and uh, really works well in the marketplace. And again, from a CCC perspective, our value propositions, what do we value? We're vendor neutral. I think that's so important. Um, you know, we don't favor one vendor over another. And especially as we move into hybrid cloud and multi-cloud scenarios, which many organizations are, they're now using lots and lots of different cloud vendors. But you still need the vendor neutral perspective to see how does all this work together from technology and from a business process perspective. Uh, we are vendor neutral, we remain vendor neutral, that's one of our core values. Uh, the CCC portfolio is role-based, looking at um, roles in the business, roles for people. And uh, we look at that now in a moment with the uh, portfolio itself. Our certification, so we're certi certification driven, we're edu driving education via certification. Our certifications help individuals and organizations achieve their digital potential. We want people to achieve their digital potential through uh, our portfolio. And uh, number four, complementary. CCC does not compete, we complement. We complement with vendor neutral training and education certifications. Uh, and they're core critical aspects of the CCC. From our portfolio, breaks down into cloud, blockchain, AI, artificial intelligence, big data, IoT, Internet of Things. 
and the CCC supports individuals and organizations in their digital transformation journey, as mentioned before, by optimizing talent and developing those skills for digital ready professionals through our portfolio, which we're looking at now. And we just said it there, the CCC certifications, part of our value proposition is we're vendor neutral, focused on developing those digital ready professionals, which I think is key. A short look at just some of the portfolio, all the details that are available are available at cloudcredential.org, uh, go into certifications, have a look through uh, all the fact sheets, everything you need to know about the, um, the courses are there, or reach out to sales and our sales enablement who will give you more details. So the CCC portfolio covers more than just cloud, we won't cover cloud today, we've done that before in other sessions, from Internet of Things, IoT provides a business oriented non-technical certification, but it's designed to develop a base level of understanding of the IoT concepts, terminology, and associated business perspectives. And that's often missed with IoT. Organizations want to adopt an IoT solution without having any idea of what that means from a business perspective. From artificial intelligence, we'll start looking at AI foundation. An AI foundation provides a knowledge of this emerging uh, technology. Uh, it's also disruptive technology too, so it's very important. So the AI foundation builds upon the definitions, the concepts and applications of AI and introduces the fundamentals of, of AI. What we find is, um, again, a lot of organizations uh, buying and using what they think is artificial intelligence uh, tools. Uh, and actually not understanding what AI really means, what it does, what it will deliver. And more importantly, you know, there's a lot of tools being sold as AI and they don't have any artificial intelligence whatsoever. So it's important to understand what actually is artificial intelligence before you spend any money on buying something that may or may not be artificially intelligent. Uh, blockchain, um, I say Caroline was, was fantastic in showing us the birth of a Bitcoin, Bitcoin built on all of this blockchain technology uh, that we're seeing very good use cases for. So the blockchain foundation certification is designed to provide candidates with a well-rounded understanding of blockchain concepts. And our blockchain foundation provides an overview of blockchain technology and also cryptocurrencies, which, which are very popular for some reason. Well, we also cover the potential for blockchain applications to solve real business problems. And that's a key thinking for any organization looking at blockchain. Again, before you buy the blockchain solution is to try and understand the potential for blockchain to solve a real business problem. What is the application of blockchain in your organization? What will it solve? What may it solve? And uh, to, to have a look at that. And for a big data foundation, um, the certification is designed to provide candidates with a well-rounded understanding of the concepts of big data, uh, the understanding of capturing, structuring, reporting, analyzing, and using data to find value. That's so important with big data. It's not just about structuring data somehow, it's about capturing, structuring, reporting, analyzing, and using data to find value. And so big data requires, you know, the latest technologies to be efficient, but also knowledge and understanding of how to work with unstructured data, A, to find structure, and B, to find value. And um, so our portfolio here from the cloud perspective, so just show the cloud portfolio. The overall portfolio is overlaid from foundation level to professional levels, the CC, uh, sorry, the CTA and CTA plus at foundation level, and then the professional level uh, for solutions architect, uh, service manager, you have security, and then administrator. Um, so we'll get in touch to learn more about these options too. So that's a quick um, overview of the portfolio, but the, the portfolio overlaid with digital transformation, overlaid with uh, the four areas of digital transformation that are so important. The seven things to consider from uh, digital transformation, the strategic views, and a little bit just about how our CCC portfolio fits in that digital transformation uh, 
journey, that digital transformation story, uh, looking at the um, the survey to see, you know, what are the key challenges there? What we found in the survey was the technology wasn't number one, two, three, four, five on the challenges. It was all the people process, the human skills, the human side of the digital transformation story seems to be where people are having, organizations are having the biggest challenge. And that's what led us to create the CCC portfolio, the digital portfolio to start with and to continue the development. Um, and then from a, an, an enablement perspective, we continue to create those various assets that we have available both online and available to you in multiple formats that we encourage you to share with your customers from, not even promote the CCC. It does help promote the CCC, but it helps promote your own brand with a value add, with a share, with um, something of relevance for your customers that they can relate to as well. Um, and that's why we searched for the people that we find. They're not really a vendor, they're vendor agnostic as much as anything else as well. And they're sharing their stories and their views from their experience. I think that's what we're trying to capture into the assets that, that we create. But as I said, we look forward now to finishing the year with our 2021 digital skills survey. So I'm gonna finish off then uh, and just check in our little box for any questions. Uh, before we close out, we have one or two. Well, there's a few too many there. What we can do is um, I'll pass these on and we'll make sure that we get them all answered. Um, top of the list, how can I become a CCC partner? Very, very simple. Go to our website. Um, there's an application form there to become a partner. Uh, there's a very small process to go through, uh, and it's as simple as that. From a fees perspective, uh, the $50 uh, fee just to join is a token fee. Uh, and that's it. We know other organizations charge a lot more than that. We don't want the fees to be a barrier. So it's a very simple process to become a partner. Um, and we take you through that. Sales will take you through that. Um, let me see. Do you offer instructor courseware? Absolutely. We offer all types of courseware is available. What you see in the website for end users is the end user piece, but also for our partners, we offer the instructor courseware and uh, the package comes with everything needed to deliver um, a class. Can we still participate in the skills survey? Yes, you can. We are going through the um, analysis at the moment. If you do or you do want to get a customer uh, to put something in there, uh, by all means, they can still put in comments. We will see that and we'll be able to um, re-evaluate re those. Um, can we be added as a oh yeah, can we be added as a partner to the CCC website? Absolutely, we encourage that. Uh, send us your as you become a partner, we log your details in. But uh, if you're a partner and you're not showing on the CCC website, just get in touch and we will uh, do that for you. We'll get you up there. Um, where oh yeah, where can I find the fact sheet for certification? So I'm reading these just from a little box here. We're going to find the fact sheets for certifications. They are all online. Go to cloudcredential.org, go under certifications, select the certification you're interested in, or all of them, just go through them. And within there, uh, the courses are detailed online, and there are also um, uh, additional details, mock exams, and fact sheets are all available, um, all available for you. So I think. I'll just run through. I think that's all I can go through. Um, yeah, we'll leave it there. Um, if there are any other questions, if I didn't get your question, again, just reach out to our sales team, uh, ask it of them, and we will have answers back for you. So with that in mind, I'm going to bring to a close this session. Thank you for listening. I hope there's been uh, a value for you in tuning into this session from CCC. If you have any additional questions, queries, uh, comments, anything like that, just reach out to us, reach out to me, reach out to sales, um, send in a general inquiry. We'll look at that and we will be back to you on that. So uh, the last thing I have to say is thank you so much for joining us today. I will talk again soon.